Today we're going to multiply by a two-digit number. If we have a multiplication problem like 23 times 3, yesterday we used an area model to help us solve this, like this. So we broke apart the 23 into 20 and 3, and then we were able to find each section of this model. So we had 3 times 20, which equals 60, and then we had 3 times 3, which equals 9. And then we added those two parts together, 60 plus 9, which equals 69. We can do these exact same steps without having to draw a model. So this 3 times 3 I have right here, I also have right here. So 3 times 3 is 9. Then, I also have this 3 times 20 right here. So 3 times 20. We don't see the 0 because the 3 is in the 1 spot, but that 2 is in the 10 spot, so that is, a 2 really is a 20. So we're doing 3 times 20. We can also think of this as 3 times 2 tens which if we have 3 times 2 tens, that will equal 6 tens, which is 6 tens is 60. And that is our answer. Here's another example. So if I have 43 times 2, I can multiply the 1's, 3 times 2, which equals 6. And I can multiply 2 times 4 tens, 2 times 4 tens is 8 tens, so I put 8 in my tens spot, and I get 86. And I can check this with an area model. So there's my 43 times 2, 2 times 3, or 3 times 2, equals 6, and 2 times 40 equals 80. So I add those together, and I get 86. So 8 tens, 6 ones. Let me do one more example. 21 times 4. Multiply 4 times 1 is 4. Multiply 4 times 2 tens is 8 tens. I can check my work with an area model. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 20 is 80, 80 plus 4 equals 84. So I know I'm right, checked my work. Okay, now I want you to do the next two practice problems. Here's your first practice problem. I want you to multiply and to check it for reasonableness. So draw an area model when you're done. Go ahead and pause. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 tens is 6 tens. Here's our area model to check. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 30 is 60. 60 plus 4 is 64. So we're good. Second practice problem, 14 times 2. Go ahead and pause. Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 110 is 2 tens, so 28. We'll check it. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 10 is 20, 20 plus 8 is 28. Okay, now you're ready for three problems that we'll check in class tomorrow. Number 1 is 31 times 2, number 2 is 32 times 3, and number 3 is 42 times 2. 
So you need to multiply those and check each of them to see if they're reasonable. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful night.